Hello everyone, uh, good to be able to be with you again this week. Uh, this week's the week in between the Ascension of our Lord and uh, Pentecost. And it's kind of an in-between time in, in our faith. The Lord's returned to his heavenly home. Uh, we await the gift, the heavenly gift of, of the Lord, still the Lord in the Holy Spirit uh, that might remain with us here in our, in our world. Just to bring you up to speed on a few things that, that have happened in, in the past week. Most notably, uh, both as a, a, a moment of joy, but also a moment of sadness. Um, one of our auxiliary bishops here in the Archdiocese of Melbourne, Bishop Mark Edwards, has been appointed the new Bishop of Wagga Wagga Diocese. And he will move to that role in uh, over the next couple of months. Uh, but uh, uh, Bishop Mark has been uh, for most of you, you would experience him as the uh, regional bishop for the western part of our archdiocese, uh, but he's also been the Episcopal vicar for youth and for, uh, and for uh, education as well, university education. So um, it's a delight that I'm handing on one of my auxiliaries to uh, the good people of Wagga Wagga Diocese in New South Wales. Uh, but a bit of sadness for us that we, we lose this great um, man of God that, that Bishop Mark is um, from our own midst. This week has been a number of sort of special weeks. We have had a particularly a, um, a focus on a reconciliation week, but also the week of Christian unity. And one other week that I'd like to just draw your attention to associated with this particular week has been um, the National Palliative Care Week. I mean, I haven't seen much in the news myself about that, uh, so you may not have seen much either. But I'm always mindful that um, out of our faith, we know that so deeply at the heart of our faith is the gift of life. The life that we have been endowed with by the Lord, the life that we are then can live as our, the project of our own lives, but also the life that we have towards the end. And palliative care is something of a, of a great dignity that can be brought to the lives of those who are dying. And I think that sense of the dignity of each person and who each person is, is so important that we um, might recognise. So anything that I think that we can do to um, uh, hold up the great gift of palliative care that brings uh, comfort and uh, uh, dignity to those who are dying and to their families, uh, I think is a really important thing. And anything we can do to encourage our governments to uh, provide the, the resources that are needed to have good palliative care processes throughout our city and throughout the country areas particularly of our state of Victoria um, would be really important. So anyway, we have Palliative Care Week as well as our focus on our Indigenous people and uh, on Christian unity all this week. As you know, uh, as of next Monday, uh, there's on the 1st of June, there's another shift towards the using of restrictions. So at the moment, uh, it's possible, it doesn't happen everywhere, but it's possible that there can be gatherings of 10 in our churches and so on. Uh, that figure will increase to 20 come this coming Monday, the 1st of June. Each parish has um, needs to look at their own circumstances, whether they have a, a, at their resources, people who can help with the cleaning and hygiene and so on, the sanitizing to, to monitor the uh, numbers of people that are, uh, are present and so on. So each parish has their own, um, uh, I've given them their own, uh, authority to work out how they might do it best in their circumstances because everywhere is different and it needs to be done differently. As I once again say that this, this coming Sunday is Pentecost, the coming of the Lord in his gift of his person of the Holy Spirit and uh, I, my prayer for you all today is that um, you may share in a particular way at this time in the gifts of the Holy Spirit in, in the ways that you need. So each of us differently need 
a particular gift of the Holy Spirit. And I, my prayer for you is that, um, that that gift might be yours in this time. So make sure you pray for it. Ask the Lord for the gift. Uh, ask the Lord for the gift. And you might ask it for someone else's too. Um, not only for yourself, but ask for someone else as well. I might finish, if I can, with one of the great prayers uh, to the Holy Spirit uh, in our Catholic tradition. And I invite you to join with me in this prayer as I offer it up for all of us at this time. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My prayer of blessing to you all, and I hope the week ahead is a lovely one.